This is my first experience at a, such a big scale. It really feels like you are experiencing the future where the rules aren't necessarily written. You will find people who can scale an idea which was not possible five minutes ago. I think there are light bulb moments every hour. Every person that is present here is special, has a message, has a mission. There are many, many young people here experimenting with different things. Taking people all you know, within different stages of their life, the young scientists, the young global leaders, the global shapers, and connecting them. Your whole being kind of goes up a notch. The atmosphere makes everybody really speak from the heart. And before you know it, somehow you get caught up and you're doing the same. It is very rare that people from all walks of life will be able to come together to be briefed by some of the best scientists, the scholars, the technicians, and understand the nuances about all of these topics all at one time. This is a place to learn a lot and you exchange a lot. People here are really open to listen and to fight the connection because you can connect to people who are really different from you and learn together. My lab and I have fallen into the forefront of the Ebola crisis and it was very difficult within the context of the Ebola outbreak to say I'm going to come here. The kinds of meetings that I've been able to have, the level of the individuals exceeded my expectations. All the organization, might be a business, a social organization, a government, we need to collaborate with creative thinking, the technical thinking, the entrepreneurial thinking. Social entrepreneurs like me do have a lot of expertise which we can share with the corporate world. What is entrepreneurial disruption? Which industries are facing it in the next 15 years? It's not just about experiencing what will change in the future. It's about experiencing what we have in the present that we want to preserve in the future. When you include the voices of other artists, one adds so much to the discussion. There's sometimes a disjunction between knowledge and experience. When you open your mind up to a kind of contemplative space, that's a brilliant portal for problem solving. In the last three days, I've seen more exciting initiatives than I have in the last three years. A lot needs to be done to translate it into reality and to eventually make a difference.